Now, daylight's revealing the scope of the damage here. These storms struck overnight under the cover of darkness, and at least two tornadoes confirmed now by the National Weather Service, one in Clearwater Beach, another in Citrus County. These are the first tornadoes reported since June 19th, and it is not over. The risk does remain with a tornado watch now extended until mid-afternoon. Until 3 p.m., we're looking at the threat of tornadoes coming through. And here's why. Ongoing threat for both tornadoes and water spouts. This one caught on camera as it moved onshore near Dun Dunedin. Yeah, it's Dunedin. a tough one. Yep. Dunedin. Uh, it's spelled so differently. That's why it's a little bit tricky there. Dunedin Causeway. It's about five miles north of Clearwater. And this became a tornado, tornado that was confirmed just as soon as it hit land. And they got out and saw the damage. They can see the twisting in this new video just into Fox Weather. A big chunk of the condo ripped off. You can see right inside somebody's living room there. Roof collapsed also into a bedroom of a mobile home in Clearwater Beach. Fortunately, nobody was hurt there. Power flashes were caught on camera camera in a neighborhood near North Beach in Clearwater and the damage survey teams head out today to rate the tornadoes. Only 36 tornadoes so far this year in Florida. I say only 36 because their yearly average is 66. First tornadoes reported since June 19th happening overnight last night. Let's get into this. Um, as you look at the storm reports that have come in, there have been a variety. Now, some of the reports near Clearwater Beach, um, they look like they are going to be confirmed tornadoes, but we don't know the amount of damage. Some of it looks like that was pretty impressive. We've had uh, metal into windshields of cars. Crystal River reported a tornado at US-19. Uh, this one has roof damage, power lines brought down as well. So again, several different spots where we've been able to go out and confirm there's at least some twisting evidence on the ground with the damage, but that's all that can be done. You've got to wait until you get the surveys done and you can estimate what the damage is. Still storms coming in. Uh, Crystal, though, Crystal Beach there, getting a couple of reports. So we'll wait and see how that track turns out. But it looks like that definitely was a spot where we're going to have a recovery this morning. A lot of people waking up to a cleanup. Here's the reason. We've got the low pressure system along the stationary front. Just won't quit as it hangs out. We've got more risk of severe storms coming through. Threat not over, though, until early afternoon. Bob Van Dillen is at the expert desk. He's tracking these storms. And, Bob, when you look at it, on the north side of the stationary front, looks like the rain could wrap up uh, pretty early uh, for right. the Carolinas. But Florida is going to be in it for a minute. I think so, because we've got that cold front. And as you were saying, getting into the August-like temperatures and humidity levels, too. This does not feel like October by any stretch across central Florida, northern Florida, below that cold front of boundary. Get right to it, and you can see what we're looking at, because the radar picture has been really active. No warnings right now, which is good news for tornadoes, but that tornado watch has been extended till 3 p.m. today. So it's all this area shaded in red. You're talking about Sarasota, Tampa, Orlando, Daytona Beach, all the way up to JAX. So you've got that going on right now. No warnings, just a watch. It means conditions are favorable for tornadoes to happen. And I think that's going to start popping up again because there's more action across the Gulf of Mexico, ready to roll in across the region. And with that low-level jet, you're talking about the winds about five miles up, screaming out of the southwest at about 50 miles per hour to 80 miles per hour. You got that, a little directional shear. The shear out there alone, plus all the dynamics coming in, it's enough to set the stage for tornado action. So what about the dew points? It's very, very high as well. You got the available energy for tornadoes, especially right Orlando down I-4 in Tampa. That's the region that we're concerned with over the next several hours as things are rolling in. As I said, no warnings right now, but there are still a couple pockets of severe weather storms. You can see them right there. They're zooming into the area. They're outside of uh, Palm Harbor. You zoom into this region, and it's been these guys that were rotating earlier this morning that were rotating in and moving in across the northern part of Florida, north of Tampa. Those were the ones that had the water spouts and then the tornado as it came ashore. But I don't see anything right now, which is good news. But keep it involved here. We're looking at the, uh, the t twisting. I don't see much going on right there at all. So that's good. Looks like these storms are not rotating as strong as they were just about an hour, an hour and a half ago. But we still expect this stuff to happen over the next several hours. So, Matthew, thank you for driving that. And you can see the way it looks right there. It's just heavy rain moving through. No warnings, just a big-time watch. And that's the way it's going to be through 3 o'clock this afternoon. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way. So make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.